Hydraulic is a field which uses liquid to transmit power and convert it into mechanical energy. Hydraulic systems are now extensively used in machine tools, in aviation, in marine control, in cement plant, in graphite plant, in alumina plant and power plant. Out of many industry, uh, if I take example of cement industry, cement industries are using kiln for cement manufacturing operation for clinker uh, built up. Why this hydraulic circuit is required in my kiln operation? Because inclination of my kiln is 2 to 3 degree and its shifting is always plus 5 to minus 5 millimeter. It means this kiln due to its load always tends to shift downward and if it will come downward then it will rotate in its one position and it will directly impact on the wheel and tear of tire as well as support roller. To reduce the wear and tear and tire of kiln, we have created one hydraulic circuit as per what components are being used to control that thrusting in kiln. In this circuit, actually when the shift, when the, our kiln shift to downward, at that time it is required to shift that kiln system upward. If this process is always plus 5 to minus 5 millimeters. It means total shifting of my kiln is 10 millimeter. So when the kiln comes down due to the, its weight, then my cylinder immediately getting the signal with help of this limit switch. So this limit switch immediately gives a command and my cylinder moves forward. And at that time, my kiln is starting moving on the top position and immediately cylinder will come back. So once again, due to this load, my this system will come down and once again my cylinder will move it to fall upward. So this process is continuous process in our cement plant and this type of uh, hydraulic control is there to control or increase the life of support roller as well as uh, tyres in my cement plant kiln system. So during this operation, number of problems comes in my system that is like hose bursting, failure of my relief wall, failure of my flow control wall, as well as my cylinder's leakage. So this type of uh, problems, to avoid this type of problem, we need some maintenance schedule that is known as preventive maintenance. And if we will make that schedule in proper manner, we can reduce the breakdowns of our system.